In this video, I'll quickly demonstrate how Canisius College students can use Google Docs and other apps for collaborative work. As a professor, you've probably heard of Google Drive and maybe dabbled in it for specific tasks, but here I'll show you specifically how your students can work together in Google Drive. To keep the video short, I'll stick mainly to Google Docs, but there are similar possibilities within Sheets, Slides, Forms, and other Google Apps. I'll also show the mechanics of student collaboration and leave up to you how you might incorporate this into collaborative assignments to students. For example, why not have them hand in finished work by simply sharing it with you in Google Drive? Say I'm a student who needs to work in a group on a project. We might use multiple files for that, and for efficiency, I'll create a folder and share it with my collaborators. That way, anything I put in that folder is automatically shared with them. So I click the blue New button, choose Folder, name the folder, Create, and then I must share the folder with my classmates. So I'll come over here to the Sharing Options, enter the classmates, email address, click send. Now, anything that's added to this folder is shared with that other student. I'll go into the folder and next I'll create a Google Doc. New, Google Doc. I'll click create and share. A Google Doc is just Google's version of a text or word processing document. It's a simpler system than Microsoft Word without a lot of features, but Google Docs are easily converted to Docx files, and the features it does have are usually enough for most student work. This doc is available to anyone and everyone whom I've shared its parent folder with. For demonstration purposes, I have this Google Doc I just created open in the left-hand browser window. On the right, I have another student Google account open in this browser window. And in fact, the respective cursors indicate that. But this account on the right could just as easily be logged in from halfway around the world. I've shared this doc with that Google account, so this window is showing exactly the same file. We can both edit this document at the same time. The edits show up in near real time when we do. In fact, we could just as easily be web conferencing with each other as we're editing this document together. There's plenty of other features here useful for collaborating students, but the two that I think are most useful are the suggesting option. Click this drop down in the upper right, choose suggesting. One student can make suggested changes in the document that can be approved or rejected by other students. This is most efficient for tentative edits. Also helpful is the revision history. Each document saves a version or revision history that records every edit made by every member of the team. Any member of the team can in fact revert back to an older version of this document as well. Older methods of group work usually involve passing document files back and forth via email, which involves a lot of uploading and downloading, and then potential problems where group members are not viewing or updating the latest version of a document. If group members are each editing different copies of a project file, this means someone has to reconcile all those edits. Using Google Docs eliminates these problems. In the case of Google Slides, each student can be building a separate set of slides simultaneously that are part of the same slide deck. Again, this eliminates the need to combine slide deck files together.